Rugby is one of the most physically demanding sports and can have massive effects on your body. Rugby players will have some sort of strength training sessions alongside their playing to help improve their performance. My name is Max Brown, I play rugby and I also love the gym. As a rugby player, I've always found it hard to balance both training for rugby whilst maintaining progress in the gym. So in today's video, I'm gonna be running through my top tips on how to balance the gym alongside playing rugby. So I'm gonna break down this video into three main topics. Training, nutrition, and recovery. All three are major points to focus on to maximize your potential. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna run you through my weekly schedule for the gym and rugby. Training in the gym is a massive part of maintaining or building strength throughout the season. Now my goals always change, whether it's I'm taking more of a bodybuilding approach or I'm fully focused on my rugby training. First, let's look at different styles of training splits. So your training split will vary whether you're in season or off season. If you're in season, your body will be more fatigued due to your games and your rugby training. This means your training volume will be reduced in season just to allow for adequate recovery and rest. Whereas off season, you'll be able to increase that volume again and really focus on your strength and performance. In season, I usually opt for a lower upper split. This allows me to train my upper body and lower body twice a week with enough rest and recovery to allow for my rugby training and my games. My training will consist of mainly compound lifts that are gonna transfer over to my rugby performance. But I've also got some isolation exercise in there just to align with my physique goals. Now, sometimes I find it really hard to progress with your lifts in the rugby season because you're never really fresh, you're always injured, and it's really hard to just continually progressively overload in, in your training. So that's why it's important to really listen to your body throughout your gym sessions, try not to overtrain, and really just focus on maintaining that strength throughout the season. Whereas off season, you've got no training, you've got no games, and you can go full force into the gym. Now let's talk about training for rugby. In season, I train Tuesdays and Thursdays and have my games on the Saturday. Now we always make sure to keep Friday as a complete rest day because I always want to be completely fresh for my peak performance on Saturday. So I'll still train in the gym earlier on in the day before my rugby session, but I always try not to do a lower session on the same day as my rugby training. Because trust me, running around playing rugby is the last thing you want to do after a leg day. Okay, now let's talk about nutrition. Nutrition is key for rugby players and you've got to be eating enough of the right foods to really fuel your body for the gym and training. As a rugby player, you are going to be very active. You're going to be training in the gym in the week. You've got rugby be training throughout the week and then you've also got games on the Saturday even you might be playing midweek so you really need to focus on eating enough of the right foods to fuel that training and also help aid with your recovery so you can keep doing it in season I normally focus around a maintenance level with my calories or a slight surplus just to ensure I am eating enough calories because I never really want to be losing weight during my season carbs will be your best friend they're gonna be the main source of energy for your training protein is also gonna be really important that's gonna allow your muscles to repair when you're training them in the gym when you're using them during rugby so make sure to get your protein in i would recommend anywhere between 1 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight every single day now let's move on to a very important point which a lot of people neglect which is recovery recovery as a rugby player is very essential because you are constantly battering your body in the gym in training and in games so it's important to focus on recovery so you can get back to it next week some of the things i'll use to optimize my recovery are stretching making sure you are stretching out your muscles multiple times per week so just get a little stretch routine get it done nothing crazy 10 minutes a day and you're sweet I like to use a massage gun which some research show that it doesn't really give any long-term benefits but that like temporary relief is pretty nice ice baths are also just how fresh you feel after an ice bath is literally unreal. So I would normally have an ice bath two or three times a week, just when I'm feeling sore and definitely the day after a game. Now to also recover optimally, you need to touch on the previous point of nutrition. Like I said before, you need to be getting enough food and enough calories to be able to recover properly. Get the carbs in, get the protein in and replenish the stores that you've used whilst you're playing. But stretching, massage, ice baths and food, that should pretty much do you. So now let's talk about my weekly layout for the gym and rugby. We'll start off with Monday, I normally start off with a lower body session in the gym, which will mainly focus on compound lifts like squats, and I'll also throw in some isolation exercises there as well. Tuesday, I will do an upper body session in the gym, once again, focusing on some compound lifts and some isolation exercises. Then on the Tuesday night, I'll have my first rugby training session of the week. Now, Wednesday, I will go into another lower body session, and in this one, there won't be as much volume, because I know I've got training on Thursday and the game on Saturday. And then Thursday, I will do my last upper body session of the week. And once again, the volume will be slightly reducing this one, 
just because I know I've got the game on Saturday. And Thursday night, I'll have my last training session for rugby in the week. And Friday will be a complete rest day, mainly focusing on any kind of recovery and just kind of getting my body ready for the game on Saturday. Saturday will be game day, so the morning is spent pretty much chilling, doing a bit of work or whatever I've got to do for the morning and just getting mentally ready for the game on Saturday. That means watching Cheslin Colby for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sunday will be another rest day and really focusing on that recovery, mainly because I'm probably hungover from the Saturday night. <laughs> so if you've got any comments, drop them down below. If you have enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, leave a like and make sure to subscribe. So from me, balancing rugby in the gym, I'll see you in the next video.